Hey folks, this is Hewitt Tomlin, the CEO and co-founder of Team Builder. Uh, we are a partner of Plays in the Play Academy and specifically partnered with the Fit for Duty course by uh, John Hoffman for first responders. So in this video, I just wanted to share a little bit about our tool, Team Builder, and how it fits with things that you learn from folks like Coach Hoffman uh, in the Play Academy. So today I have a program uh, here from uh, Coach Hoffman and uh, it's made up of many phases. And what I will do for the sake of time is just take one training day from one phase and kind of show you how that works in Team Builder. So here I have a Team Builder account uh, for play. And what I'll do is uh, I'll create a, a calendar and I'll just call this uh, example calendar, right? And a calendar is basically just a training program that you write uh, and then you assign people to. So if I were to train people, uh, I would create a calendar and then I would go ahead and add my athletes or trainees to that calendar and then they would receive the programming so in this case um, i have a power phase four so what i'll do is i'll just call this a power phase session single session and then the first exercise here is uh, v ups uh, two by 15 and then i also have half kneeling med ball toss uh, two by four with 20 pounds so just to show you how i would program this i would actually go ahead and click add exercise and v ups would be considered something that I would include in the uh, lift database. So I would say med ball V-ups and I'll say two by 15 reps. And then just here, I'll say weight optional in case they want to use weight or not. Go ahead and add that in. And the next one, I had a half kneeling med ball toss. And I believe I had two sets of four each side. That's kind of uh, checked off by default because that's arranged in the exercise database. And by the way, the exercise database is customized. So in this case, I already have a lot of exercises from Coach Hoffman's program built in. So I'm just simply selecting them, adding sets and reps, and then adding those in. Uh, but before I do that, I know that he asked for 20 pound med balls. So I will go ahead and specify 20 pounds for set one and set two for this med ball half kneeling toss. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, these next two exercises because they're similar to what we just did. And I'm going to get into a little bit about how we can do things like program one minute of max rep squat cleans and resting three minutes. And it looks like he wants two sets with 50% and 60%. So programming this is not so difficult. I can just do squat clean and I can do two sets of time for 60 seconds. And then here's the thing that I can add these percentages in here. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, my athletes would have no idea what 50% is of their max squat clean, for example. And that's totally fine. Team Builder kind of accounts for this. So once I add this in, what I will do next is I will go into our exercise database and show you a little trick that we have built into Team Builder. Uh, any exercise that you have, such as squat clean, can actually be uh, linked to another exercise in order to derive maxes or some maxes. So in this case, you can say, well, I've never actually maxed someone out on squat clean. Uh, so that max doesn't exist. Um, so what you can do instead is you can think of a max that you do test for. And if you test for a front squat, then you can actually link this to a front squat. So let me just search front squat really quickly. And here's my front squat. It's a one rep max tracked exercise. And if you test for it, great. But if you say, well, I actually don't test for front squat either, that's fine too. What we can actually do is think of another exercise that you test for, and that might be back squat, for example. So if you do take a back squat 1RM, what you can do is, is you can take a front squat and say link it to the barbell back squat. So if I find barbell back squat, I'll say I'm going to link this at 80%, right? So whatever my back squat is, my front squat will equal 80% of that as far as the one rep max. So once I submit that, I can come all the way back to my squat clean or squat clean. And then I can say, okay, let's link the squat clean to the front squat. And I want it to be linked at 100% because uh, I, I want to say that it's similar to the front squat 1RM. So we'll leave it at 100%. So what will happen is, is if I have a max at a back squat of say 200 pounds, 
and we're using 80%, then the front squat max will be 160 pounds. And if we're using the 100% max of the front squat for squat clean, then this will also be 160 pounds. So once you submit this, you're actually sharing maxes to derive some maxes on other exercises. And that way, when we go back to programming, and we take a look at this example calendar, the squat clean now, because it uses percentages for set one and set two, will tell the athlete exactly how much weight to use when they're uh, doing this exercise. In this case, squat clean max reps, two sets of 60 seconds each. So in the strength phase here, where we do max rep, uh, back squat, rest two minutes, uh, you know, 20 seconds at a time, it's programmed the exact same way. And, as you, and as, you, as you can see, it uses percentages. So all this does here is uses a percentage of the one rep max that you have stored for back squat and for bench press on these two exercises. And when it comes to this circuit, it works the exact same way. Um, kettlebell swings, you can link that to an exercise. Front squat will probably have its own one rep max. High pole is a derivative of some sort of clean max and push press is probably its own one rep max or at least a derivative. So all these percentages here can guide athletes into using appropriate loads uh, for an exercise or training session like we have here. Now, here's the good news is we took all the programming uh, from Coach Hoffman and actually pre-built it into Team Builder. And if you take any Play Academy course and you start a free trial or purchase Team Builder, we will actually load all of that programming into Team Builder for you. And once you use saved programs that are transferred into your account, you can actually edit them. So this programming is meant to be a resource for you to use, to look at, to edit, to build off of. Uh, it's simply a way for you to have some pre-built content in your Team Builder account.